Hi, I'm Antonio and today we're going to look into how to create materials for AMD's Fire Render rendering engine in 3 Max. Fire Render is a physically accurate renderer, which means it simulates the behavior of light and its interaction with materials, as it will happen in real life. So it is important to understand that to create proper realistic materials in Fire Render, you need to have a good understanding how these materials work in real life. In other words, you need to think physically uh, through observation, through a minimum uh, knowledge of physics, uh, which is easy to look up on the internet or brushing back your school books. Um, so today we're going to look at, we're going to start with a relatively complex, complete yet a very simple material, which is glass. In the past, some of you might have been used to create glass in different ways in rendering engines, using tricks, using uh, certain techniques which are still biased. Uh, although creating great looking effects, we're going to see today how with a little bit of knowledge how the real glass works in real life, it is possible with very few simple steps to create a perfect looking glass in Fire Render, which is not distinguishable uh, from, from the real life counterpart. When we look at glass material, we can see that some of the light coming at the medium gets reflected and some is refracted. We can also observe that reflections get stronger at grazing angles. While the material looks completely transparent if we look at it perpendicularly. The ratio of light being reflected versus refracted is defined by the Fresnel equations. Fresnel equation says that some light will be reflected and some will be refracted when it travels from a material with index of refraction N1 to another material with index of refraction N2. For our purposes, it is important to know the index of refraction for the glass material. Typical glass material has index of refraction 1.52. Another important thing to observe is how the geometry of the object affects the way the material looks. Thicker objects will make refractions more visible, more important. They will also look darker if they had color. So what we're learning from this observation is that when we model these objects in 3 Studio Max, we need to model exactly as they are in real life. Let's assume we wanted to model this glass. Personally, I will use a revolution modifier. But when I create my revolution shape, I will make sure that it has thickness. Because this glass has a thickness of roughly 2 millimeters on the side. And it, it is about one and a half, one inch at the bottom. So we want to model the glass with exactly these properties if we want it to look just exactly as this glass looks in real life. One big mistake you should avoid at all costs is to model this glass using plane surfaces with no thickness. Because a geometry that has no thickness does not exist in the real world. So if you created a geometry with no thickness in Fire Render and then we applied a glass material, the math behind the light simulation will simply go wrong. So here we are in 3 Studio Max and the first thing we're going to do is open the Slate Editor and we can see there is a set of Fire Render material nodes and a set of Fire Render map nodes. If you look at material nodes here we have the basic building blocks for building any kind of physically accurate material. Um, as we observed previously, in glass we have refractions and refractions. So we're going to go ahead and take a refraction node and a reflection node. And since these things happen, these effects happen at the same time, we're going to go ahead and take a blend material node. Blend material literally blends two materials together uh, by a constant. Uh, so the, the closer to the zero, uh, the closer the material will look to the first material and the closer to one, the closer it will look to the second material. But in glass case, physics tells us that it, the, 
the amount of light <coughs> reflected and the amount of light refracted is not uh, is not always constant. It's rather governed by the Fresnel equation. So if you look into the map sections, we find a Fresnel node. So we're gonna plug the output of the Fresnel node to the weight. And um, here we're gonna change the color of reflections to pure white. And we're gonna do the same with the refractions. And uh, here we have our glass. Uh, very, very simple process. And now we're gonna see, we're gonna check out our glass material looks when applied to a geometry. So for a, a quick example, we're gonna create a simple sphere. You can put it right here and apply our material to the sphere and render. So here we have a really good looking glass, very realistic. But uh, as we observed uh, our real life objects, uh, this sphere is very thick, it's completely made of glass, it's completely full. Uh, therefore, refractions and uh, the refractions are, are very strong. They're very, very important, as as we noticed with the blocky object before. So you have to be uh, careful uh, when you are trying to simulate real life objects. You need to model them accordingly, uh, as they are in real life. So suppose this sphere was actually more like a light bulb or something like that. We need to make sure that. Um, we model exactly the same way, so we're gonna scale a little bit the sphere and creating a copy, and then we're going to create a Boolean object. Removing the inside And now what we have is a sphere that is hollow and it has a, a thin, uh, a relatively thin uh, uh, body. <coughs> uh, that's the way you need to model glass all the time. Uh, when you have a glass panel, for example, never, never model like, like a plane because it's not going to work. It needs to have thickness as we discussed before. So if you're going to render now, uh, we will see that the, the glass looks more realistic as, as in hollow glass. And uh, we can open the uh, active shade window, so we can see the, the, the how this as this glass material reacts. It changes the viewport point and how it reflects the environment or refracts the environment and the background as well. So, <clears throat> if we create um, another sphere. Uh, and make it a thicker, uh, this time we will see how the glass changes appearance accordingly because all this is simulation of real life behaviors or simulation of light and materials. So here we create another sphere. And uh, this time <coughs> we make it, again, we create a copy, but we, we make it thicker. So again, Boolean. Assign our material. And here's the result. So the sphere now behaves more like the ash tree we saw before. And this smaller sphere behaves like the glass we saw before, and so forth. That's it.